every day. There are many servers that are completely wiped out or dominated by destroyers. But what if I told you there was a way to win 90% of your fights against destroyers? In this video, I'll be showing you how to absolutely crush any destroyer user you come across. By far, the most effective counter for destroyer is Gigan. And with Gigan against Destroyer, you have to use 10 speed points and 10 damage points to be the most effective. And offer the test not only no initiative, but no counterplay whatsoever. You will have the Destroyer on the back foot if you follow all these steps. Now, the first thing you need to learn is what, what to do against your average Destroyer user. The one who just combines his melees, beams occasionally, and just has terrible aim and terrible attack timing. This is where your max speed will come into play. What you have to do is lure the deaths to you, make the deaths aggro onto you, take them on a wild goose chase. You are much faster than them, so once you've gained a considerable amount of distance, you use your beam, unfly, and fall into the water. And notice as, this, as you do this, the destroyer is going to struggle to get to you. They're not going to get to you at all. Then, once you land in the water, the beam is short, so you can, once you land in the water, you just fly up fly out of the water and just repeat the repeat it again repeat the exact same thing again now another key thing to note is when is the right time to go for a melee against the destroyer and if you just choose any time i mean you could get lucky and they're not gonna they're not gonna retaliate or you will just walk into a melee brush and just die so when you use a melee tip against the average destroyer typically what you want to do is Use your melee sparingly and only use them to keep the destroyer in combat. Offer them no chance of regenerating any health. Or if you're going to let them do that, then let them regenerate minimal health and then you beam them to cancel their regeneration. Now this actually depends on what strategy they use and I'll go into the other strategy later. But against the average destroyer, just use them sparingly, use it to keep them in combat and just... Just occasionally use it, or, or, if you're dropping into the water and you come out, you can get a free hit if they're meleeing with their tail whip or their slicer. You go, you can just go to their side or above them and then just get a free hit, click out of the water, and then just escape scot-free. You could bait their variable slicer out or their tail whip and then get, and then get a free hit. Tail whip is easier to get free hits with because of the hitbox going below it, so you just have to go above the destroyer and then just slice it. So at this point in the video, you have enough knowledge to take out maybe 70 to 80 percent of all destroyer users. You are basically fit to take out most destroyer users that you come across. However, I'm going to include some other strategies to that you can counter that destroyers will use against you. Just because why not? Like you might face them, you don't know, you don't know what to do. You're just gonna completely, you're just gonna, you're just gonna get completely destroyed. So the first one we're gonna take a look at is the hippopotamus defense. I mean, this is a second strategy we're looking get, but it's first variation of the average destroyer user. So the hippopotamus defense, it's the most annoying strategy you can ever face. And on paper, it actually sounds very, very powerful, but it in reality, it's as long as you know what you're doing, you can just easily counter it without any, just any competition. So what is the hippopotamus defense? The hippopotamus defense is when, destroyer, when a destroyer is pretty much immobile, just not moving that much in the air or on land, and being non-confrontational. Basically, they just wait for you to come to them. And most most time, most time, most often, the hippopotamus defense is played on played on land because on land, destroyer regenerates faster than air, and his land regeneration rate is incredibly fast. It's is staggering so they just want to take advantage of, of their region and just basically become a wall so i'm just going to show you what to not do against the hippopotamus defense and what you do not do is just melee rush they want you to melee rush because then they can just retaliate and just they, they beat you in an instant avoid melee rushing a hippopotamus destroy it because that is what the strategy relies on it relies on being non-confrontational and beaming when you're running away or mailing when you come close. Now the first now the first way to counter this is with max speed Gigan. It's not the best way, but it's still very very effective. Now 
you open up with the beam and destroy it, they're either going to return fire against you or they're going to just get up and chase you. And if they get up and chase you, then you just switch your play style to that of the, against the average destroy user. You do not need to worry about this since you're already well prepared to take that, take that out. So what if they return fire against you? Now, you have two options here. You can either just run to the run to water and just hide from the beam. Run for, just run like underwater, hide from high building, hide behind buildings, or just 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 flee for your life. And the second option is for the aggressive people. This only works if you are close to the destroyer and not just incredibly far away. I mean, why would you be incredibly far away? Your beam is gonna do no damage because of damage drop off. So second strategy is the aggressive strategy and when they beam you, it's most likely going to be with the Ocean Destroyer, and so you, you just melee rush them. You just go crazy. Just melee rush them. And as soon as the beam ends, you get out of there just to prevent retaliation. Just get out of there, get some free hits, and just dip. Then just repeat the repeat your beam. Repeat your beam spam and your your strategy. And obviously, if they chase you, you're happy. But what if they continue playing the Hippopotamus? Then just repeat that. Just repeat what you're doing right now, and you should counter them easily. Now the second method to, to beating the hippopotamus defense is with Mogira, and Mogira is just built for ranged combat. It is insane. Its beams at when when you have max damage, they do very good. They do very good damage and a pretty short cooldown. So hippopotamus defense, they just stand still, and this is where Mogira just absolutely shines. Mogira can Mogira can just annihilate them at range, and if they come chase you, then you just Play it like Gigan sort of. Don't go in for melee exchanges. Just just beam fall and just beam spam. That's all you gotta do. Just drop in the water when they come close and just run. Just play like you would as Gigan. But if they just continue, then you're happy. You win. You just beam spam. And they lose. Now that there's actually th th three three good ways to counter the hippopotamus. This is more technical, okay? This if they're just if they're playing the full-on hippopotamus, which is they just don't move, they just don't fly and go to you, they just want you to come to them, then this is gonna work, but most likely they will not. So this is just for the memes, okay? You can use you can use Kamunga, and Kamunga is basically land Mogira. So you just do what you would as Mogira, just beam spam, and if they come for you, then you just run into the water. And since you're faster, you gain enough distance to shoot them with a web to prevent their regen, and then you just take them on wild take them on a wild goose chase. It's probably gonna end in a draw because you just you just keep running. It's I mean it's not gonna work. It's not like it's not the best strategy, but if the shred just keeps going for you, then you're probably gonna end it in a draw. And if they just get third party help, then you just lose. But this definitely works against the full on hippopotamus. If they come up and chase you, then you know what to do. So Kamonga, I mean yeah, it could work, but I would just use Gigan.
by far the second most common strategy you'll encounter from a destroyer user is the beam spammer. And against the beam spammer, you your game plan is actually it's actually pretty straightforward. So again, use max speed and take them on a wild goose chase. This time they're gonna spam their auction destroyer and their chest beam, just flail it out, just throw their beams at you and try to overwhelm you with their insane damage as quick as possible just to win the battle from a distance. But when you see a beam, immediately, immediately get to a source of water and just drop down. Just evade the beam as much as possible, scuttle around so they can't see you. And this is where also where your size comes into play. It'll be hard to see a, a guy that's far away from you while you're beaming from the sky. Now, what if there's no source of water? Well, you can either just go up and down, just aim up and down, pressing Q and E if, to evade them as much as possible, or just go straight down. You just go straight down into into some water and or i mean go yeah go straight down towards some water just to evade their beam as much as possible and usually if you use these dodging strategies then you will mitigate you will mitigate the beam damage you are not going to be crippled by their beam you're not going to take that much damage and you can just go back to your beam spam now if you are the aggressive type while they're beaming with the auction destroyer you can just go crazy with your melees because Auction Destroyer lasts a considerable amount of time and it leaves them vulnerable if they beam you in the sky while you're close to them. This only works if you're close to them. If you're far away from them, then I just suggest just dropping down or just going crazy with your dodging. Do not turn back if they use an Auction Destroyer. Like, only melee them when you're close because by the time you get there, they'll probably be almost on their beam and then they will punish you for not gaining enough distance.